the actual real world crime scenes start at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. We're here this early in the morning, believe it or not, at this ungodly hour to train our students in the reality of forensic science and crime scene processing. Here's where we want them to make mistakes. So in the real world, when they graduate, they're ready for their job. They're I grew up watching some of the crime scene investigation shows on television. So I started researching universities that had forensic science programs and West Virginia popped up as the top one in the country. So I was like, well, that's kind of a perfect fit. Because our faculty have actual crime scene experience, they set up scenes based on what they've seen in the past and what they've actually been a part of. So it's kind of real in that sense because it's mimicking something that's actually happened. It's not a case of just we tell you about something, you actually get hands-on experience working with this instrumentation. I don't believe that anyone else in the nation has any academic program has the kinds of facilities that WVU Forensic Science has at their disposal. Crime scene houses, laboratory spaces, uh, ballistic labs, uh, photography labs and so on, which I don't think exist anywhere else. A lot of the faculty here are very research active um, and that, that helps with our Research One status as a very research active university. And that also means then um, the faculty are heavily involved in um, national level organizations and committees. And these are committees that are designed to help um, set standards for forensic science. We have a ballistics expert, people that are good at toxicology, we have an entomologist. Uh, people that do DNA, and, and so we kind of have expertise in, in a wide variety of areas, and that enables us to, to really give a balanced education to the undergraduate students. Everything we do in this DNA lab is applicable to the field. We're using the latest chemical kits, so I have the benefit of learning the hands-on things through my teaching and through research that is going to make me a better lab analyst when I want to get a job. Last May's graduating class, 90% are either in graduate school, have a job, or being vetted by the FBI. And so we feel very good about the placement rate for our students. We hear it repeated so often that our students know more about what they should be doing at those internships than the people who work there. And, and that, is a, that is a fantastic thing because of the classes they've taken, because of the practical experiences they get in the classroom, because of all these things down below it. The facilities, the equipment, the faculty, they create those experiences for our students. We are developing academically. The way into the future is a lot of our students are going to become the leaders in the forensic science field in the future. This is my first time testifying, but I believe my educational background qualifies me as an expert.